What up, YouTube? This is Geo Stealth R1. And, well, seems like it's going to be a bumper week because I have another upgrade. This is the Traxxas TRX4M Defender. And what I acquired from them is the Traxxas Aluminum Bumper. Uh, the part number on this bumper is 9734X. And I was kind of worried because I was looking at this. I'm like, oh my God, one of my hooks are gone. But uh, I saw that the screw and everything is over there. Hopefully. I'm um, able to put that in there. I was worried that I had to return this because the screw was missing, but uh, this should tell you Loctite everything. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be swapping out that bumper here. Uh, I'm gonna be taking out the lights uh, from there and putting it onto the newer bumper. And then I'm also gonna be doing that to this, that to this bumper, but I'm not gonna be needing lights. And uh, we'll take it from there. Alrighty, so let's talk about the front bumper. I mean, I do have the rear bumper over there. But really nice. I mean, it, it is aluminum um, with the red anodized hooks. Um, they do have the screws that are over there. The screws are going to have Loctite on them already. Uh, I do have to disconnect all of these four screws, and I'm going to have to disconnect four screws over there. That mounting bracket's going to go in for the new uh, bumper. This is going to be the new setup right there, which, as you can see, um, as for the LEDs, the LEDs are going to fit right here, so they just pop in. Um, I'm in a cold garage, so when you do do this, make sure you either have a blow dryer or a heating gun and have that set up. I'm going to start installing this right now and um, let's see where we're at. Alrighty, so install is complete. As you can see, uh, the metal anodized bumper is right there. I think that came out pretty, uh, pretty nicely set up. Uh, if I do say so myself, um, install was pretty simple. A few screws, just one in, one out. The rear part was just a little bit more, not even, I can't even say technical. We just had to utilize the hitch that's over there and then run your wires and everything like that. So it does come out uh, pretty cool. The bumpers are smaller, so it, it's definitely set up to be more of a crawl based system. Um, just realistically speaking when you want to crawl you want something a little bit more um a little bit more refined when you have the uh uh crawling happening over there so uh hopefully this video is informative to you um hopefully i'll be able to assist you when it comes down to these type of installs and either that or what they visually look like uh on your rc rate comment subscribe to my fellas up in youtube later